Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best YouTuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. What is up guys, Corey here, and I am doing a Plunder Patrol deck profile for you today on Rufio's channel. Uh, massive shouts to him for letting me do a video. I've been on his channel a couple of times with a regional and Nats top. Um, so I'm really excited to bring you a, another deck profile, which is actually Plunder Patrol. Uh, it's a deck that I have been working on since the new support uh, from Eternity Code. I think it's a fantastic deck. Uh, I think it's extremely underrated. Um... A lot of the cards have some insane effects, so I'll try and explain them best I can without like waffling on too much. Um, but yeah, make sure you like and subscribe, um, and there'll be a combo video that will also follow. Um, it will be a Halka Fibrax combo, um, but it's not just a normal Halka, Fib uh, Halka Fibrax combo. It's uh, without Jet Syn Synchron and it's without uh, Despot 1, uh, and it ends on like two negates plus uh, Blackbeard. So make sure you check that out as well. So let's get straight into the profile. Uh, so we start off with free Whitebeard, the Plunder Patrol Helm. Uh, so this guy has an effect that during your opponent's turn, um, he can basically tag himself into the uh, Spell and Trap card zone by summoning uh, one of the extra deck monsters with the same attributes as the monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard. Um, and he also has the effect when he's sent from the field... Yeah, sent from the field to the grave. Sent from the field or hand to the grave, sorry. Uh, you can special summon a Plunder Patrol from your from your deck. Uh, so he's like the best one. Uh, yeah. Uh, then we play free Redbeard. Uh, Redbeard has the same tag out effect as Whitebeard, but its graveyard effect when it's sent from hand or field is that it can uh, equip itself to a Plunder. Uh, so that's really good. You max out on all the monsters, basically, uh, because you want to see them so you can start your combos. Uh, and these guys are, like, good. So if you don't have combo, you can just end on this and, like, maybe the trap. And uh, you can still do, like, interrupt your opponent. So, I mean, it's fine to play three of each. Uh, free Golden Hair. This is from uh, Eternity Code. So this has the effect that it can uh, discard a Plunder Monster, Special Summon itself, from the hand. And if it's in Graveyard... It can, uh, you can just discard a card and special summon it from Grave. So it's basically an extender. Uh, same as this guy, Bluebeard. Uh, if you control a Plunder Patrol monster that isn't himself, he can special summon himself. And if he's sent from the field or hand to the grave, he can discard a card and draw a card. So you can like do some cool chain blocks uh, things with him. Uh, but these are important. So like Tuna, Whitebeard's a Tuna as well. So you see how like the, the Halka Fibrax combos work. Uh, then we play Free Silent Angler. Uh, some people might not have seen this. Uh, if you control a water monster, you can just special summon it uh, from hand, but you can't special summon monsters from the hand for the rest of the turn. But you don't really mind. It's just basically another one of this, just without the plunder name. Uh, it just helps you make like uh, your turn one board stronger. Sometimes you'll open like uh, a non-tuner plunder, and like this. Uh, so it means you just end on Blackbeard, which, like I said, you can still interrupt your opponent enough anyway. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we then play the one Mecha Phantom Beast Align. This is the only card you need to play in the main deck uh, to like facilitate your um, Halka Fibrex combos. Uh, so you don't have to play like Jet Synchron or anything like that. Like I said, you have loads of natural tuners and extenders and everything in the deck anyway. Uh, and this just lets you like end on the gates and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, then Hand Traps. We play Free Phantasme. Um, reshuffle in your hand in this... Uh, and this deck's really good because you need uh, plunders in hand to use the effects of your extra deck monsters. So Phantasma is really good in this deck. Uh, free Nibiru, um, obviously. It's a really good hand trap. Uh, and Free Ash. Uh, I was playing Imperm as well, but I cut it for another card uh, you will see in a minute. Uh, but these are the hand traps that I'm comfortable playing with. Another reason why I cut Imperm over a different hand trap was just because of Phantasma. Uh, Imperm can conflict with it, that's literally it. Um, 
yeah. So 900 drops, which you have the room for. So spells, uh, we play three of the field spell. So the field spell is absolutely insane. It has the effect that um, you can discard any card and add a plunder card from your deck to hand. Um, if it's in graveyard, you can bounce any of your plunder patrol spells or traps in the spell and trap card zone to reset it. And it also makes your plunders all gain 500 attack for every plunder in your spell and trap card zone. So you can do like cool things where you like equip a, like make one of the guys an equip, and then like you don't even mind if you discard one of these for another. Um, but you can like recycle them loads. So this card's like insane. Uh, then free desires. This card's so free in this deck just because uh, you can play with like minimal amount of plunder cards and still like because the, the the thing is they um they're really good at grinding they're really good at recycling themselves so even if like you banish two field spell um it's fine because you can usually just recycle the the one field spell if your opponent gets rid of it um so desires is like super free and it just lets you draw into hand traps or like extenders and stuff like that so desires is amazing uh then free call by the grave this is this was imperm but um Everyone's playing like 9 to 14 or 15 hand traps or whatever the optimal number was. Uh, so, you, I don't know, this is sort of important if you're making the Halk Fibrex combo just because it is so fragile um, to like one or two hand traps, especially in this deck, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah. Then one of one Terraforming, obviously. Uh, then one each of these guys. Now, this might be a bit controversial, um, but I'll explain. So basically, in a lot of lists, people play like three and three, or three and two, or I don't know. There's a lot of ratios, but it's not really one and one. But in this deck, these cards aren't really starters. Um, this is better. Obviously, this is the fusion spell, and if it's engraved, you can banish it and equip a plunder patrol monster or the emblem to one of your monsters you control, uh, one of your plunder monsters. So it has like an application like that, but you don't really want to see it in multiples in your opening hand. Uh, if you need it, you just search it, obviously. And it's usually only being discarded, not really using not really using it for fusion summons. Because if you open two plunders, you're usually making a combo and not just a uh, fusion pass. Because you can end on way more. Um, and then with Emblem, uh, obviously you don't want to open it in multiples either. Um, the only time this card is like good to draw in your opening hand is if you don't open combo, basically. If you open like one of the extender plunders, um, you equip it... Uh, Mainly like mainly Bluebeard, you like equip it and then you can just instantly make a uh, Blackbeard. But other than that, um, it doesn't really have any application other than that. So uh, it can stop your plunders from being targeted as well. Uh, the one it's equipped to and it gains 500. So yeah. And then the only trap cards is Free Plunder, Plunder Patrol Booty. Uh, so this card is insane. Um, so you play it at free. You kind of want to draw it. You don't really want to search it, but like, because uh, you just want to be searching all your extenders and uh, doing all that. You want to have plunders in hand, so you don't. You want to open this, so you're not searching for it and like losing a card to draw this. Um, so basically, it has the effect that uh, doesn't matter during each player's turn, you can target your opponent's monster, uh, change its attribute, and then you can take a plunder monster from your graveyard and either shuffle it back into the deck. Or special summoner um, and that's each turn uh, so it means that you can like access say your opponents play in a deck that doesn't have attributes that you want to tag into with your uh, black beard your white beard or your red beard uh, it means you can tag into them uh, and with desires as well like if you banish two and you only see one it's fine you don't really even need to see like it for a game to win a lot of decks are playing like the Hulk fibrex combos and they go into like lights um, darks and stuff like that so you don't it's not like completely necessary 100 percent right now for you to win but it's an amazing card uh so that's everything for the main deck so moving on to the extra deck so the plunder monsters so two blackbeard uh blackbeard has the effect that he can tag out the same as whitebeard and redbeard uh, and then put himself as an equip to the monster he summons based on the attribute but he also lets you draw a card as well um so yeah you only really need two of him. Your combo usually ends, like the Hulk Fibrax combo will end on like one of these, plus like your two negates, and then the second one's just like an extender. But uh, you can normally get these back with booty or whatever, so two's fine. Uh, two more work. 
So this has the effect that um, if it's equipped with a plunder during either player's turn, it can quick effect, discard a plunder card, uh, target a monster your opponent controls, banish it, and search a plunder spell or, a spell or trap. Uh, so it's absolutely insane. It replaces the card that you discard. Uh, if you discard things like the field spell, uh, then you can obviously just recur it back by bouncing the equip next turn or whatever. So like, it's so free. It's just amazing. Uh, also has the other effect that you can detach materials to protect your guys from destruction. Um, you're not really ever making two rank fours and making this. You're usually just tagging into it. Uh, so it doesn't really come up that much, but yeah. Uh, then two Bran. Uh, so Bran is exactly the same as my work, but it discards and banishes a spell or trap. So it's a cosmic cyclone and it searches a monster instead. Um, it also boosts your guys by uh, 500, all your fiends by 500. Uh, and then finally, for Plunder Patrol Monsters 2 lists. This is the new one from Eternity Code. Uh, this has the effect that it can negate a monster effect during your player's turn by discarding a plunder. And you can search a plunder card. Uh, so it replaces itself like that. Um, but the difference is, it doesn't have to be equipped with something for it to be a quick effect. But it has to be equipped with something to uh, search to replace the card. Um, but it's insane. So yeah, that's everything for the Plunder Monsters. Uh, then we've got a White Aura Whale. Now this card's actually really good and underrated. Um, so what this does is when it's Synchro Summoned, you can destroy monster opponent controls. But the cool thing in this deck is you can actually chain block it. So let's just say, for example, you uh, you open like uh, these two cards here. Yeah? Uh, so you normal this, like you're going second, normal this, uh, special this. Uh, you then Synchro into this. Uh, you make this chain link one on synchro summon and then you can go chain link two white beard or chain link two blue beard um and you usually can kind of play around the gates like that you can't really play around imperm or Vela, but you can play around like um like most uh field negates so yeah uh white or away was insane uh then Solomon great almirage almirage is really good if you uh basically only open um what's her name golden hair so you basically normal her, turn her into Almirage, discard a card special, and then you can just make uh, Blackbeard. Yeah. So Almirage is like necessary for when you open like not the greatest hands. Uh, then the final five cards are just the the uh, the Halqua Fibrax cards. So a uh, Crystal Halqua Fibrax, uh, Link Cross, uh, Martial Metal Marcher. Uh, Herald and FA Dawn Dragster. These are the only cards you need for like the uh, combo, which also, like I said, you'll see in the video. Um, you don't have to fill out with things like Borrowload Savage and stuff. You don't, like, I mean, you can uh, do combos like that, but uh, the combos where you end with a Plunder with the Blackbeard as well, um, you end on two negates with a Blackbeard. So you get to interrupt your opponent like all the same, so it's fine. Uh, so yeah, that's him for the deck profile, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like and comment comment down um, and if you've got any questions I'm more than happy to answer them if you've got any uh, suggestions as well more than happy to accept that so yeah uh, thank you very much to Rufio once again and yeah bye thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.